White Sands Missile Range to see for myself what an EMP attack might actually do. This device creates the same electromagnetic pulse that's given off by a nuclear blast. The pulse doesn't affect people, only electronics. But just to be on the safe side, Russ and I retreat to a safe distance. This remote control helicopter is about to fly through an electric discharge of close to a million volts. And yet the most sinister thing about it is there's no flash, no bang. There you go. There you go. Excellent work. Excellent work. In an instant, the helicopter circuitry is completely fried. That's awesome. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. One second you're in the air, next second you're on the ground. Not a good way to go through the day, especially if you're in an airplane. Let's go take a look at it. Flying along just like that. He's doing a great job. Next thing you know, just one little click. Click, and boom. Right out of the sky. For the ultimate test, I'm going to put myself right into the line of fire by driving a vehicle through the pulse. The fuel tank has been specially prepared using pressurized nitrogen to prevent an explosion. Even so, this isn't exactly standard procedure. They've assured me that uh, when the pulse radiates, that uh, the car will not explode. So I'd like to say to my family, I love you. And to the camera guys and uh, the cameras, they have to leave because they can't stay around for the shot. So let's see what happens. Here we go. Five. Four, Get a little momentum. Three. Two. One. I'm still alive. Uh, the car isn't. The car is officially dead. I heard the click of the switch. The pulse came through. Uh, fried out the uh, electronics. Uh, as far as the uh, starter switch, but there's still battery power. That's why the windows still work. They run basically very simply. You've got some lights on the dash, but when you try to go to the ignition, nothing really there. It just dies. Traveling at the speed of light, an EMP attack would strike everything directly in its line of sight. The higher the altitude, the greater the devastation. At 30 miles above the United States, the device would affect up to half a dozen states. But at 300 miles, the whole continent of North America would be brought to an irreversible standstill.